The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland. Weighing in at 322 pounds, Ryan Wolfman Taylor. After an illustrious football career through college, this athlete couldn't fit in with a team that best suited his style of play. He felt like a man without a country until he arrived at the Performance Center where he found a new purpose as a competitor. He's ready to earn his stripes. Welcome to the USO Penitentiary. And his opponent, representing the USOs from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy USO. Jimmy and Jay USO have single handedly transformed the tag team division. You know, and if you ask him what made the difference, what made you guys step up your game, Jimmy and Jay will tell you it was the moment we decided to stop being what other people expected us to be and to start being who we are. Both Jimmy and Jay have earned seats at the table with Roman Reigns, who has made both better. Has Roman Reigns made Jimmy and Jay Uso better, or has Roman Reigns actually divided the Usos? This match is underway as Jimmy Uso looks to get even with his wife Naomi's partner from the next match challenge. Yeah, Uso believes he did all the work to help get to the playoffs, and his opponent stepped in and reaped the rewards. Uso was out hurt. What was his wife Naomi supposed to do? Just drop out of the tournament? She and her replacement partner made the best out of a bad situation. Nonetheless, Jimmy Uso didn't see it that way and cost his opponent a Universal Championship match. Now they look to settle their differences here tonight. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. From the ring all the way to... No! Now that was a harebrained Whoa. idea to try that. Was trying to find a way to attack, but completely wiped out. Two. He catches Jimmy with a counter. Sling blade. Three. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. Slam. Demora spot for Jimmy Uso. This is Uso's perseverance getting tested. Supernatural power. Oh, no, no. This ain't right. Monsterplex. Six. Re-enters under the ropes. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the rest count, Cole. Oh, look at mounting, and now the oh. punch is hammering away. Ruthless. Striking at will. The advantage now is squarely in his corner. His offense is second to none at times like this. And Jimmy able to reverse that. Jimmy managing to get some control back now. The angry Uso looking for the upper hand. Oh boy, ready to strike, guys. What are we gonna see? Big time knee, Lariat combo. Diamond's carry. Up and... just barely 
Ali's still in the fight. I don't know how many more times he's going to be able to kick out after that. That was too close for comfort. All of that. He may get the three count right here. And for some reason, he stops the count. He's been placed in the corner now. Jimmy Dodge is out of that. He knows how to avoid contact. He's expressing pain now. Holding on by a thread, maybe even left. Uh oh. Oh, man. Dude. Jimmy's looking helpless to every attack. Yeah, Jimmy keeps getting cut down at every move. Whoa. Producing a trampling. Go behind. Seven, nine, three. Four. Ah, oh, face first off the post. Five. No way back. Oh, wow. Jimmy Russo is a bloody mess now. And an impressive amount of offense against him here. Yeah, he has to devise some kind of new strategy here. once they get back to the locker room and hit the showers. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, 
weighing in at 322 pounds, Ryan Wolfman Taylor. From Goldberg to The Rock to Titus O'Neil, Baron Corbin and Roman Reigns, there's a long line of superstars who came to sports entertainment by way of football. Yeah, but this guy left because he needed a new challenge, hitting people year-round. This is a guy who always seeks out the highest level of competition, and I think he'll get it tonight. WWE's resident royalty Hail and his opponent the King, from baby. Kansas City weighing in at 275 pounds King Corbin Corbin looks ready to dispatch any threat to his crown Corbin always ready to use questionable tactics to gain success that's not so despicable if you understand how to respect such a majestic and valiant ruler. All right, that's it. Get him! Yeah! Come on, let's go! And now Corbin is here to claim his most regal victory to date. Welcome to the road to Money in the Bank. Baron Corbin will be looking to take out his anger management problems on a superstar that's come a long way in WWE, but still has a lot to prove if he wants to stand tall over the rest of the roster. It's my favorite time of year, Cole. Briefcase season. Corbin's a battle-tested superstar that knows how to win when it counts, so his opponent's going to have his work cut out for him if he wants to qualify tonight. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Corbin fights back. Back and forth from these competitors. Just launched. Look at this display of power. Overhead, belly to belly. He's absorbed some damage already. He planned for this and could still rally. Suplex. And Baron now is being chopped down. Corbin needs to better assess the situation to turn this around. Superhuman. Oh, this is just flat out punishment. Yeah. There's one. This makes it. Repeated displays of power are painting an ugly picture here. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Overhand right lands, and he stonewalls Corbin. Oof! Lands the haymaker. Hits him with the counter, and he's just flying his skills now. We are looking at an unyielding attack from him. Uh oh, Will Barrow. Getting tossed around.
just overwhelming him here. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. The night looks to be coming to an end for the Kicks out the knee. Watch this. This is breathtaking. Fireman's carry. Up and face. F5. And Corbin's laid out. There's two. And that's all on Shiro. Wolfman Taylor Wrestle perhaps the perfect match Never any doubt in this win That's why they call it light work Cole Barely even broke a sweat The following contest is a six-man tag team match on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 842 pounds, Ryan Wolfman, Taylor, Paragon, Jay Pierce, and Big E. He's done a good job of adjusting from pro football to competing on his own in the ring. Pro football is such a team sport, but when you're in the ring one-on-one, -on -one, there are no teammates to rely on. That's how he wants it. Oh, this man here is simply looking to cause some hurt. We are about to conduct a little business with the Almighty and their opponents. First, representing the Hurt Business from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. A truly astounding physical specimen, military trained, countless amateur accolades, and a dominant MMA career. is about to be done. Here comes a Lucha Libre legend. The biggest little man in the history of WWE. Rey Mysterio has created a legacy that has been undeniable. And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio! Hey, he's the biggest little man in WWE history. He's uh, the greatest underdog we've ever seen. This is a superstar who's made a career of slaying giants and defying odds.
cool persona and a respected mixed martial arts background. Riddle is here to fight. Presenting R.K. Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds. Riddle. It is the bro who runs the show, and that bro commands that attention every time he competes. Nonetheless, oh, wow! Oh, jeez! His football hit me in the nose. Good, you should leave the desk. Go see the nurse. Six person tag team match time. This should be interesting. So many moving parts, so many different combinations at play. I cannot wait to see what these superstars have in store for the WWE Universe. Go behind. Jordan, nine. Look at this display of power. Overhead, belly to belly. Heaved up. Oh, slam. What impact. And the scary thing is, these attacks are being done with great ease. Ah. Flinged across the way. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Setting it up. Boom! Powerball planted. Lashley's losing any kind of advantage here. This has to feel demoralizing for Bobby. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Well measured. Looking for more damage here. Now release back suplex. Take more strength than he has left. A lift of power bomb. Ah. Nice scoop slam. Rey Mysterio is in some serious trouble. But Mysterio won't give up, guys. Military. And this has got to be it. Rey managed it. This is it. Some shock in the arena after that kick out. Yeah. What? Look at this. Just... Oh, incredible elevation from the big man. Ooh. Carefully measured knee strikes. He takes control. Reaches his partner for the tag. Face 
to watch. Gentlemen, Rey Mysterio may be fading away here. This has just been an absolute massacre. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Oh, catastrophic damage on the back. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara off bar. Gotta respect the strategy to work over the arm. Oh, what a knee. And the hits to the core keep coming. is really dialed in right now. Pierce continues the assault. Under his clothesline. No, oh, what a knee lift. Valley Ball. Oh, God. Locked in tight. Tap out. What an amazing six minute tag match. Here are your winners Ryan Wolfman, Taylor, Paragon, Jay Pierce, and Big E. Nice teamwork by these three to pick up the win. This win is huge. I'm sure they'll be posting about this on social media all week long. Hey, wanted to talk to you about the Money in the Bank ladder match. All the other guys have this every man for himself mentality. So what if we took the opposite approach and looked out for each other? You want to form an alliance? Yes, yeah, sort of. We have that special bond going back to the PC, right? So all I'm saying is we team up in the match, and then when there's an opening to go for the briefcase, it just comes down to me and you. Deal? Alliances in these types of matches never work, and this won't be any different. So, no deal. Fine. Good luck trying to win this thing on your own.
The following contest is a six-man ladder match. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 322 pounds, Ryan Wolfman Taylor. When this guy hung up the pads and entered the ring, and there was speculation he'd go back to football the second things got too tough. He squashed those rumors pretty fast and has played amazing dedication to his training at the Performance Center and fierce determination in his matches. The look of focus and determination on his face. He wants to show the world that he can compete on this high level. It's the always focused Paragon, Jay Pierce. And from Arlington, Virginia, weighing in at 235 pounds, Paragon, Jay Pierce. It must be difficult for Paragon to walk with that gigantic chip on his shoulder. It's good practice for when he starts carrying the men's division. Pay attention, Saxton. You might learn a few things from Paragon here. Yeah! <laughs> Time to hop aboard the positivity bus, gentlemen! And representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 285 pounds. One thing can't be denied. On the big stage, Big E has a great track record and does his best work. For Bobby Lashley, business is always good. And representing the Hurt Business from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Already such an accomplished career, but he's got a lot more to prove. The almighty Bobby Lashley. Yeah! Bobby Lashley has wasted very little time putting every other WWE superstar on notice. Bobby Lashley is all about discipline. The son of a United States drill sergeant, former uh, serviceman himself, High impact personified. A multi-time WWE Champion, former Royal Rumble winner, one of the greatest of all time, Rey Mysterio. The ultimate underdog who is still a thrill to watch after 30 years. And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio. One of the all-time greats. Listen to the ovation for the biggest little man in the history of WWE, Ray Mysterio. Stallion of 
WWE. One of the best pure wrestlers in WWE. Uh, uh, and guys, an original bro. And representing RK Bro from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. Seems like everybody's got an opinion about Riddle, whose laid back style has earned plenty of fans and detractors. The flops are off, and that means Riddle is ready. We're about to see a grappling clinic. It's time for the match. We've all been waiting for the most iconic test in all sports entertainment, the Money in the Bank ladder match. And what a remarkable group of superstars we have in the match this year. So many different skill sets and so many different alliances inside the ring tonight. Especially after that six-man tag team match with the Sexton. SmackDown. Well, Sexton, you're right. Because I have absolutely no clue as to who's helping who. Everybody's a legitimate threat to grab the briefcase. And he has an answer for Big E. First DDT. Grab the leg. the plan here. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Slam! This match grinding him down a little. Snap suplex. Oh! Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Big time knee lariat combo. Oh God, that was a major stunt. Oh, clothesline. Here we go! Oh, 
was coming. Ooh. Oh no, this isn't gonna end well. Oh, oh my god, surfboard leg breaker. Perhaps thinking about what to do next year.
Returning to the ring now. And now he's standing it right up in the middle of the ring. Right where it needs to be. from the big man. Mysterio sent flying. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. Oh, meet the backside of an elbow. considering some of the men he had to outlast tonight to get it. Now the real question starts. How and when will he decide to cash it in? I'm sure our Universal Champion Roman Reigns will be eager to find out. If that match does occur, I can't wait to see it. It's only been a couple of hours since I won this briefcase, and I've already gotten a lot of questions. When are you going to cash it in? What championship are you going to go for? Will it be a surprise? <laughs> so I'm going to cut to the chase and give you all the answers. Since day one, I wanted a shot at Roman Reigns and his Universal Championship. And now that I have this, I can make that a reality. So Roman. I'm not going to hold on to this for a long time or try to cash in when you're not expecting it. I'm challenging you to face me in the ring on SmackDown for your Universal Championship. I'll be waiting for your answer.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. Gentlemen, we're just moments away from a highly anticipated contest for the WWE Universal Championship. And looking at the tail of the tape and the level of competition for this title, I think this is going to be a classic. Some have called the challenger an underdog tonight, but he is prepared to make all the doubters eat their words. The head of the table has arrived. Complete domination of WWE. This has brought his family and the locker room in line. And we should all be thankful that WWE has Roman Reigns. While some people may question the change in Roman's attitude, you cannot deny he still works harder than anyone in WWE. Takes no opponent lightly, engages in psychological warfare even before the bell rings. And there is no question about it. Roman Reigns is one of the most dominant competitors in WWE history. Roman Reigns looking to continue expanding his empire. Introducing the challenger from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 322 pounds. Ryan Wolfman Taylor. And introducing the champion from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. He is the WWE Universal Champion, Roman. This is always a match with enormous implications for the landscape of the entire WWE. This capacity crowd is waiting with bated breath. The Universal Championship, it doesn't get bigger than this. It simply doesn't get any bigger than this. The Money in the Bank briefcase is being cashed in right here, right now. And the Universal 
Universal Championship is hanging in the balance. It is a dream matchup, Michael. Roman Reigns is defending his title against an extremely confident challenger that's hitting his stride at exactly the right time. I absolutely love this superstar's moxie right now. No tricks, no surprises. Just a man that's ready to step up and rip the Universal title from the biggest name in the game, Roman Reigns. Heaved up. Wow! Chuck Lariat slam. Look at this display of power. Overhead, belly to belly. Uh, throw. Reigns is getting dismantled here. Roman's being picked apart. He got whipped into that corner. Superman punch. Oh, look out! Spear! Champ taking the worst end of the exchange. A great uppercut! Oh, no, no, this ain't right. Monster Plex! Oh, my look at goodness. This. From the ground up! Superhuman! Flat out! Holy moly! Slam! And he's really gotten into his zone right now. Yeah, it's one attack. Oh, look at this here! He paid for that one! Oh, man, big time. Ooh, bullseye! Defiant counter to Reigns. Using his body as a weapon. The kick takes their opponent down. Holy moly, lands on their feet. Yeah. Hoist it up. Here we go. Oh. We can have a new Universal Champion. Is that Kevin Owens music? We haven't seen him in months. He's got his money in the bank briefcase from last year's event. Owens nails the current briefcase holder with his briefcase. What the heck is happening? I think he's cashing in. We're going to have a triple threat match. But two money in the bank briefcases? How is this legal? Stunner. One, two, three. Kevin Owens is shot. The WWE Universe has stolen the Universal Championship. He didn't steal anything. He just outsmarted everyone in the arena. Well, it certainly looks like Roman Reigns feels like his championship was stolen. Yeah, and the challenger probably feels the same way. He had hit his finisher on Reigns and was moments away from becoming champion himself. None of that matters now. What's important is we have a new Universal Champion, and that man's name is Kevin Owens. You want to explain what the hell you're going to do about all this? Look, I get you're upset, but unfortunately, what KO did was technically legal. I thought you only had a year to cash in. I had the new briefcase. Clearly, it was over a year. I know, and normally that is true, but KO was injured for a while and was able to use that time to extend his cash in window past the one year mark. We're going to tie up that loophole for the future but it's too late to change what K.O. did. So you're not gonna do anything to fix this? My universal title shot is just gone. Not necessarily. To make this up to you, I'm putting you in a rematch against Roman Reigns. Whoever wins will face Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship. 
that work? Sounds like I don't have a choice. So I guess it will have to. following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from baltimore maryland weighing in at 322 pounds ryan wolfman taylor we're seeing an athlete who was a top player on the football field until he reached the pros he just couldn't catch his big break he came here because the fire to compete still burned and wwe became his passion the moment he stepped through the ropes Look at the focus and drive in his eyes. Ready to prove he's the best this division has to offer. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Already cemented himself as an all-time great, a multiple WWE and Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. How about five WrestleMania main event matches defeating legends like Triple H, Edge, and The Undertaker. The man who now leads the bloodline. A man who used to fight with honor, but now will do whatever it takes to retain his spot at the head of the table. Complete domination of WWE. This has brought his family and the locker room in line. And we should all be thankful that WWE has Roman Reigns. Buckle up because we're about to witness one of the most controversial rematches in WWE history. A showdown to find out who will face Kevin Owens for his Universal Championship between former Universal Champion Roman Reigns and the man that came within inches 
of Roman's title. Uh, neither man is happy about this outcome. KO should be ashamed of himself for his disgraceful cash-in with last year's briefcase. Oh, spare us, Saxton. KO is well within his rights to take the Universal Championship by any means necessary. The only thing that matters now is which one of these two superstars has the backbone to get back. Locks in the pump handle. What the? Holy cow, I'm dizzy. Yeah. To the gut. Power bomb. Oh, not done yet. Oh, oh, Samoa drop. He's taking some good hits. Goes a perfectly placed target. Reigns is going to look to press on the advantage. Yeah, Roman was able to momentarily stop the bleeding, but can he take control of this match? The big dog had that scouting. A oh, foot just stomping down. Had an answer for the big dog. This ain't right. Oh, wow, what power. He's turning the tables. Counters. Good kick. Nothing fancy there. He's got the answer for that one. And a dead look into the German suplex. Wow. He is still in this. Yeah. Just tossed. She get airline miles for that. Oh, look at that torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, oh. man. Reigns had that scouted. at this point. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Boom! DDT! Turning the tables there! Diamond's carry. Up and... Wolfman Taylor! What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Baltimore, Maryland. Weighing in at 322 pounds, Ryan Wolfman Taylor. No one ever thought he'd leave pro football, but when he experienced the rush of competing in the ring, his focus changed. Trading football cleats for wrestling boots was a bold move, but he's a natural competitor who's driven to reach the top of WWE. He's been demanding this match for quite some time, and now he is ready to compete. Uh, this means the conspiracy is continuing. They never stop with this guy. 